What's up guys, I'm Robbie Nishida. Uh, I am a former Formula Drift uh, competitor and driver. Currently one of the judges for the Formula Drift Japan series and also the newest judge for the Formula Drift USA series for the 2020 season. Um, I will explain a little about the tracks that we have and the layouts in the Formula Drift Japan series. And uh, let me go ahead and start talking about the weather. Um, it's a lot humid in Japan um, than in the States. So sitting in the car just waiting um, for the next run is just, it's, it's a killer. I know it's already bad enough in the US, uh, but in Japan it's really bad too. Um, we also had um, some of the events that were delayed because of the typhoon. Um, so a lot of rain in Japan. I know there are some events in the US that has rain as well. I think almost all of the events in Japan had rain. Uh, let me go ahead and talk about the track layout and how the track should be ran. So Suzuka Twin Circuit is probably one of the smaller tracks that we do um, go for the Formula Drift Japan series and it is located in the Mie Prefecture of Japan. Um, the run up is fairly short. First you go up, um, go down the straightaway, um, one, two, three, however many gears depending on the car. You're initiating right next to the wall on the right side going towards the wall uh, which the judging stand is on top of and you have to make a quick flick and also try to throw as much angle as possible and get on gas as soon as possible. So you're not e-braking and going closer to the wall, you're giving everything and the full commitment is uh, probably what you see in, in that track. After that, you're going towards the end clip and a transition uh, right after the end clip or at the end clip and you're going to another end clip. So there's two end clips, um, two outer zones um, on this track. So it's fairly technical because you do have to make a flick right next to the wall. So you have to calculate, make sure the car is not that close to where you make the flick. The rear end of your car can hit the wall. Obviously going and riding the wall or the outer zone number two uh, would be hard as well. But having a lot of angle and a lot of commitment and being on gas as much as possible will help out a lot. And it gets a little technical after this because some of the cars that have lower horsepower doesn't make its way around the first inner clip and going to the transition. So a lot of cars tend to try to straighten up there, but obviously we're looking for the most angle and most commitment uh, throughout the track. So this would be a little bit of a technical track. 